In this video, I'll show you how to use Microsoft Excel pivot tables to create some descriptive statistics of a categorical variable. I have here a data set where my rows represent individual counties in the United States. We have a number of variables describing the counties. In particular, we have the medium rental price for two bedroom apartments. And then we also have this variable, this categorical variable that we'll look at, economic topology, which is the specialization in a given county for the type of labor or industry that dominates the county. So to begin, we will select all of the data and we will go to insert and select pivot table, the very first button in the upper left corner. The data contains our, uh, our entire data set here since everything was selected and it'll put our new pivot table in a new worksheet. That sounds good to me, so I will click OK. Now I have an empty pivot table. I'm going to drag economic topology to this rows box. So I have the different categories for economic topology along each row. I'm also going to drag economic topology to values and it's going to compute some kind of value for each category. What it computed for us is the count. That is the number of counties or the number of rows in the data set for each category of economic topology. We can see here that the very last row here is blank and there are no counties that had a blank value. We can remove this by selecting that little arrow button on row labels and then deselecting blank. Very good. We can also order this if we want to, that is sort this by the count. To do that, select one of these numbers, right click, go to sort, and we'll sort from largest to smallest. And now instead of alphabetical order for the categories, the categories are listed in the order where the most popular appear up top, followed by less popular. So we can see we have 225 counties that don't have a particular specialization in terms of industry or employment. We have 62 counties that specialize in state or federal government. We have 27 counties that, spe that specialize in recreation, etc. I'm going to add another descriptive statistic for economic topology. I'm going to drag that down. And you can see now I have another count. Well, that's not exactly what I wanted. I'm going to select the down arrow on that count in the values box. I am going to select value field settings. I'm going to select show values as. And instead of the actual count, I would like a percentage. So I'm going to show values as a percentage of the column total. And I'm going to click OK. Now you can see 68% of the counties in my sample are non-specialized. 18.8% specialize in federal government, 8% specialize in recreation, etc. We can clean this up a little bit more. Instead of calling this row labels, for instance, we might want to call it economic topology. Instead of calling this count of economic topology, we might want to say number of counties. Instead of counting, calling this count of econ topology 2, we could call this percentage of counties. That is how you use pivot tables to create some simple descriptive statistics of a categorical variable. 